Welcome back guys to the Sweet Science Media with your boy Fat Mouse and Cash. Uh, today we are joined by KZ Kadimi. Um, KZ, welcome to the show. Thank you guys for having me, man. So KZ, um, obviously, first of all, before we begin, how are you? How's everything going? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Um, you know, we uh, just came off a fight. You know, still good. Back to training on Monday. So, you know, we're good. <laughs> Perfect. Casey, obviously, it's about more than a week now coming up to since, since your first career defeat. How are things for you since that? Obviously, we spoke previously just now and you said things are a bit different now for you in terms of training, etc. How's your mindset? Uh, you know, after the fight, um, you know, I was, you, everyone's going to be upset with their first loss. So, um, yeah, the first, I mean, first three, four days was a bit hard, but, you know, alhamdulillah, I'm back, I'm back normal. Uh, I'm grateful for where I'm at. I'm still happy. It's a learning lesson. You live and you learn, and it's part, it's part, it's part of the game. So, I'm back to training on Monday, and we'll see where we're going to go. I'll sit with my team and see where we're going to go next. Going into the lead up of the fight, um, studying tapes of Ijaz, uh, and then going in there with him personally. Is, was there anything he did in there that was different to what you expected? Um, definitely, I thought uh, he, he improved a lot. I mean, there wasn't much of a footage of him at that time before fighting, so there was there was a few, and we couldn't watch it because of the highlight. I mean, the, of the quality of the videos. But um, we definitely kind of underestimated him. He definitely brought his A game, and uh, he performed really well. So you know, he had a, he, had, he, came, he came with a good, really good strategy, and um, you know. He, 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 you know, he, he kind of surprised us the first two rounds, so, but it was, it was great. Like I said, it was, it was a good fight, it was a good learning fight. Was there any, like after the fight, was there any bad blood? Because obviously, like you said, it's your first loss. You guys are competitive, obviously having a, a competitive spirit. Was there any bad blood after the fight? or? No, it's nothing personal. I mean, uh, you know, I, I, cong I congratulate him for his victory. So I told him, you know, if, if we can get a rematch, we get a rematch. Uh, but he said he's going to have fun for, for now and uh, he would definitely let me know. So, you know, it, it, if it happens, like he says himself, if it happens, it's going to happen. So. And is that what you've got in mind, like an immediate rematch or are you going to just to try and take it and see what happens? I mean, um, I, I, obviously, I'm, I'll be happy for an immediate rematch, but I think he's going to, you know, he's got his own personal uh, stuff to do. Um, if, if, if we say we're going to get it like, further down the line, we might have a little warm-up fight just to get, um, you know, get the rust off properly. Yeah, you were talking about sort of getting back into it. Do you have an idea of when you want to come back, ideally? I mean, within three months time, I'll, I'll definitely want to be back, man. Three, three months time. Yeah. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> again, with the fight itself, when you look back at have you watched the fight back since? Yeah. yeah? Is there anything that you now, looking back at it, would have done differently? Was there anything in the game plan you would have changed? Or was it always to come out there and be your natural self? You know, um, I don't want to come up with excuses, you know. Uh, Edge has, has put a great performance on. But a lot of things happened. I don't want to talk about it. A lot of things happened during the fight day. Uh, but you know, it, it, like I said, it's all a part of the learning process and I've learned a lot from it. And um, Definitely. I mean, you know, it was main event, everything, and it was a lot of, you know, we was getting a lot of attention from the media. It was, they, they wasn't giving me enough time for me to uh, really focus for the fight. So I think that kind of played up. But like I said, we, we, you live and you learn, and we learn a lot from it. So hopefully when the next fight comes, we'll definitely put a better performance. So you were the main guy going into the fight, um, and you were just talking about the media attention. Did that affect your, like, your training? Did it affect your kind of headspace going into the fight? Um, in a way, you know, I, I tried not to think it might it, it, it won't affect me. Like just like my gloves, I was uh, given I was uh, I was given a glove by ringside um, to fight with. It was a green and black, and you know, going into the fight, their their team did not want me to fight with those gloves because I got I got bad hands, so I can't fight with normal ringside gloves. Ringside has made the proper gloves, special gloves, based on my uh, my previous glove, which was Denaro, and um, you know, I, I, they. Well, when I went to the change room, they said, you can't fight with this glove. And uh, we said, why not? Because he goes, um, what well, their team said. And they, you know, you just all play that. And uh, I think it was a lot. Just, I would try to think positive as much as I could, all through the media, all through this stuff happening. But I think that kind of the first two rounds that I kind of started very slowly, was just I was in a lot of pressure, to be honest. It was just a lot of people were expecting me, a lot of things from me. And uh, yeah, man, it was just a heavy shoulders, I guess. Well, you know what? You didn't lose any stock from that fight because it was a great performance anyway. Both of you performed great. And uh, like you said, I'm sure you're going to bounce back and, um, you know, improve once again. Casey, just quickly as well, we were talking about, <clears throat> before we got here, we were talking about your, your journey sort of to this stage. And, and it might have been sort of premature, you know. There was 
one fight which was originally scheduled as the main event the day before the actual the the, the fight night another pull out and then you sort of got thrusted into the deep ends pretty soon how has this been for you anyway describe the journey for you coming from afghanistan being i think eight years old and then sort of having the limelight on you so early in your career how has that journey been for you and uh, does it put you in good stead going forward I mean, uh, this whole journey has been part of the same journey when I got to UK. I, we went through bumps and bruises, you know, to get to here. We went through ups and downs. You know, there was time where my family was in tears, like, you know, they were like, they were giving up in here. And, you know, because it was, uh, we run out of money and all that stuff. And uh, it books, my boxing journey has been the same, you know. It's been going great. Now you get a loss, it's the same thing as bump bruises. You live and you learn and carry on moving forward. And uh, I'm still thinking positively and I still, I'm still aiming for the same goals. Uh, to become the first Afghan Br uh, British world champion, and that's it. Nothing stopping me from uh, me getting to my uh, to my aim and my goal. Mindset of a warrior. I love that. I like that. Um, so going forward, anyway, obviously the the world championship. You know, that's the aspirations. Do you see yourself sort of? Because you again, you've been signed to Frank Warren. You're a BT Sport fighter. The last fight gained a lot of attention. Is this now a time in your in your career now where you're gonna to say to yourself, okay, we need to slow it down, or does it not matter to you when it's whatever challenge comes, that's what you're gonna take next? Uh, well, I think uh, we kind of learned where we are at this fight, but uh, then again, um, you know, I know it wasn't the same age as Ahmed that was two years ago. It was probably the best age as Ahmed because uh, from obviously when I watched the video, now compare it to his previous fight, he put a different performance on. He had a very great guard. He had a very you know, he came with his A-game, so it was, I'm sure this age of Ahmed would be a lot of our fighters out there, uh, world, world class fighters, and um, uh, definitely, it's, it's, a, it's a learning, it's a learning, less, uh, learning fight for me, and um, definitely, I'm going to kind of slow it down, obviously, go get the rematch, hopefully after the rematch, pick up a few more of the ranking, then take a bit more slow than what I was going for you. Yeah. Obviously, coming up, sort of, you, 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 talk, you talked about your story. Was boxing something you always wanted to get into? I know we're going, we're going to go discuss a bit of the background now of how you got into the sport. Um, yeah, was it something that was always sort of destined for you? Did you enjoy always boxing back home? No, I mean, uh, I never thought I was going to get this far, honestly, when I started boxing. I never thought I was going to be a professional. Uh, the reason I started boxing was because to get out of trouble and it was to find a local place where I could use my energy. I was very energetic as a young kid and uh, yeah, and, Boxing was just mainly like a hobby, even in through the amateurs. Never thought I was gonna be this far. I kind of quit. I mean, you know, when I did quit the amateurs, I never thought I'm gonna have more career in the boxing. Until I went to a license, then I thought, you know, I might go a little bit further. But yeah, I'm, it's, it's been a crazy journey, but it's surprising where I'm at. So, how's the support been from back home anyway? Because you said there was a lot of eyes on you for this fight. Are they still supporting? Uh, definitely, man. I mean. Uh, the, the Afghan, you know, I'm still the first Afghan British to get the WBO European under eight fight. So, um, that, you know, their support has been always there. So they, they, they're good. I mean, they, you know, they know uh, losing is part of the game. And, you know, they've, all, they've always, uh, after the fight, they all give me their support, show me their support, receive thousands and thousands of messages, you know, uh, to, you know from, from politicians, from celebrities, from back home saying that keep your head up, this is part of the journey and you're going to rise, man. You, you didn't get beaten up, you didn't get battered. It's, you know, for the way you lost, it, it, can, it can happen to any fighter, so. Since, so since the end of the fight, has, uh, have you had any conversations with Frank about what's next and ideally dates and times? I mean, um, I've been speaking to my management team, Warren Management, um, I'm, they, they've, they're family of Frank Warren, so they've, they've said they've spoken to Frank and they're trying their hardest to get the, um, the rematch. I mean. But I know, realistically, I know what's down there for Ajax, obviously he's got his own personal thing, so it might be like within five, six months time. But my team has suggested me if he takes longer for, for us to get rematch, we might get one more fight. So I, I think that, that sounds a lot better. Brilliant. All right, well, uh, any questions from you? I just want to know, um, for everybody watching, where we can find you on, uh, on social media? Um, uh, you know, Instagram, Casey Kadimi, Facebook, Casey Kadimi. Uh, but I'm going to say shout out to you guys for you lot coming all day from Far Journey to the interview. Man. I'm really grateful for you guys and I appreciate your, your work, man. Thanks, yeah, man. I appreciate it, man. It's, it's been a pleasure, man. We appreciate it. Yeah, no, the pleasure was ours. Thank you for your time. Uh, it's been the Sweet Science Media. It's been Cash, Fat Mouse and uh, future world champ, Casey Kadimi. Thank you, sir.
Nice and peace.